we know that i devices are so much secure but sometimes this security hampers our experience do you have an iphone ipad or even ipod touch lying around and you just can't use it because you forgot the apple id password even screen time passcode or screen passcode or you are not able to use your iphone properly just because of mobile device management uh, restrictions do you want to unlock the itunes backup which is encrypted and also want to remove the itunes backup encryption settings then you landed on the right video i'm going to tell you one single software for all of these problems and you can do all this with the comfort of your home within seconds so before starting this video just press this red button and subscribe to this channel also do like and share if this video helps so let's get started so we are going to use id lock this software is made by wootechie a company with proficient phone solution experts from all over the world so let's start by downloading this software and i will provide you with the link in the description so i will be using my iphone 5s with ios 12 although this software works with all i devices and all ios versions and this is available for windows and mac also so you, you just have to select either windows or mac and just click free download once you download and install the wootechie id lock then it will ask you to install itunes also because it is needed to connect to i devices this software is very easy to use with a proper step-by-step -step user guide for every feature on their website so it's so easy let's say if you want to see the user guide so just click it and it will open up the website and as you can see for every six features there are six features on this id lock and when you click mode one unlock apple id and you will get step by step process of everything man it's so good so if you say mode two mode three mode four mode five so that's good so now we will talk about each and every feature in detail so let's go ahead and let's check out the id lock so first feature is obviously it's a very i like most important feature i believe unlock apple id so it removes apple id from your ios device if you forgot the password and this and that so let me first connect my iphone So it will say device is not supported it's okay now if you open again so as you can see it's showing me to what to do for the first time like it's showing on my iphone also that please click this trust so i will click this trust and i have to enter the passcode So I've entered the passcode. It says if trust option doesn't appear on your device, try reconnecting your device. So I have done this and if the trust option has been accepted but your device is not connected, reconnect your device. So we have done it and we will do it again. So see, I have done that trust part and the software told me to okay do this, do that. So it's telling me step by step everything. So that's pretty good so it's showing how to do it so id unlock supports to remove apple id so you have two warnings you should read two warnings and notes on every feature so it says using id lock to unlock apple id will erase all the data on your device so your data will be wiped you will not able to save any data so please back up it if possible otherwise it's gone and please don't disconnect your device during the process so if you disconnect the device during the process i don't know god save us and just you have to press start to unlock and the, we will do the step by step process so let's talk about unlock screen passcode so if you have a passcode and you forgot it so if you forgot the iphone passcode or iphone has been locked and cannot be used again so you can do it but there are warnings also so using id lock to unlock your id device will erase all the data the so same thing your ios version will be updated to the latest one so a new ios version will be updated so that's good and make sure it has nf power so make sure your phone is fully charged and uh, if find my phone or uh, find my ipad is enabled you will need apple id or password to set up your device after unlocking it so uh, find my phone and this is enabled obviously so you need the apple id and so you remember what's the apple id and all so you will able to regain the access on the phone that's that's good so let's go back and see uh, unlock itunes backup so 
on your, if you have a backup on your computer you can have a look over here select this and you can unlock it otherwise you can unlock it from the mobile also so that's also a very good feature if you have iTunes I don't use iTunes and if we talk about remove backup encryption settings so that's also good so if you have iTunes backup and this and that so if you have the password you can do that if you have the password if you don't have the password you can use this method and you will start the thing and everything process it will tell you step by step process so do not worry and now it's bypass MDM means bypass the mobile device management so if there are restrictions by your company so they try to restrict you to not use these things or these apps or this and that so you can bypass that also so that's a really good thing so note if your device is locked out of MDM screen please directly click the start to bypass proceed but uh, bypass button to proceed okay so you don't have to do anything if MDM screen is showing so you have to just click and start this thing if your device has MDM restrictions please uh, reset your device before bypassing so you have to reset the device first and uh, and uh, that's it so it's telling you the how to do the reset so that's good also if you get into trouble you have a 24 by 7 customer service so that's really good and you have the peace of mind that if something goes wrong we have someone to talk to so you have to go to click the three lines and then technical support so you have this support one-on-one -on -one support service so just you have to click it and fill in the details to get in touch with the customer service uh, as soon as possible so that's good really really good so now let's talk about unlock screen time passcode and this method and this thing I'm going to show you the demo in real time so we will do the same thing like I have set the screen time passcode on my iPhone 5s so let me show it to you so settings we have the screen time and as you can see we have a screen time passcode so it's set okay so we will do step by step process and see uh, what it shows and what phone says and what software says so let's click on it so it says note to remove screen time passcode please disable find my iPhone first you will need to reset up your device after removing don't worry this won't lead data loss so you just have to reset up but the data will be not lost so you have the data and just you have to reset up it like a new iPhone so let's go and start it let's see what it instructs us okay so it's showing me how to find the find my device thing and turn it off so let's go and follow this so we have to go to settings your name and iCloud so let's see so let's open up the iPhone and okay so we have to go to settings and then my name and then go down show all okay Praveen's iPhone it's showing so we have it and this turn off so it says you have to put in the password of your Apple ID so let's put in the password so turn it off so find my device is turning off and it's turned off so now we have to click continue on my computer screen so let's see continue and it's started working removing screen time passcode oh nice so it's doing on its own okay that's good now it's showing me that you have to click don't transfer apps and data to keep the data otherwise you will lose lose it so let's do that and let's see my phone is starting up so yeah it started and I know the passcode so I will enter the passcode okay hello so I've entered the passcode uh, next okay next it has my Wi-Fi so my phone data has not been lost so this is continue and 
as it says on the software you don't ha you have to click on don't transfer apps and data so we will click that only and i have to key in my password for my apple id so updating icloud settings that's good right now the software is showing this screen this screen only and as it's saying unlock successfully that means the process has been done and now we have to do what uh, if we shown the so screen time you have to click set up later in settings so it will complete the process so let's see if we get the screen time and then we will click set up later in settings so i'm waiting for that okay so we have it uh, we have something that's let's continue keep your data and uh, let's continue this is the uh, so now we have to click setup later as it says in the software so let's do that okay that's good get started so as you can see i have all the data remaining here so nothing has been lost so that's good so let's check it out and have a look the screen time has should be there yeah so it's had it has been reset so that's good so we can do it again and this is working fine man this is working fine just like new so now you can enable the passcode again you can do a new passcode and that's good so that's a really good software man it went so smooth and it just took me around 30 50 seconds that's it and it it was wonderful any guy any one person who is not that technical also can understand the step by step process and can do it easily even you have the 24 by 7 customer service so that's really good so now i should tell you uh, what's the pricing of the software and you can do it and have a peace of mind with your iphone ipad or ipod touch so let's discuss about the pricing so let's go on the website and i'll show you so let's see see pricing so as you can see we have a one month plan of 35.95 dollars and there is a one year plan also 49.95 dollars and this is for one ios device okay so if you take a lifetime plan which is a very beneficial plan which is of 69 dollar 0.95 cents so this will give you for five ios devices so once you connect a ios device it is registered for this software okay so you can't use more than five devices then so that's good so if i have used i'm using a one year plan so one ios device so if i'm using with this iphone now i will able uh, i will only able to use this iphone only on this software so that's a really good software and there are many acceptance from paypal visa mastercard mashrio jcb american express wire transfer that's really good so i love the software and i don't have to go anywhere and it's so peace of mind and there is a 30 day money back guarantee also and free trial for all programs so you can see the features but you can't use the features so you have to uh, pay for this service you should go ahead if you want if you don't want to go uh, apple uh, service center and find apple service center and go over there and this and that so it's better to do it at home when i got this iphone 5s i was actually locked because my sister-in-law didn't know uh, the apple id password and this phone was locked so we had to visit to the iphone center uh, the apple center and we have to pay them because it was out of warranty so we have to pay uh, them a reasonable amount to get it done so why not pay for this software and use it for whatever time yeah so that's really good so hope you like the video and hope you are going to use the software and links will be all in the description so you can go and have a look and buy it and use it so thanks for watching guys hope you like this video hope this video helps you and do subscribe for more helpful videos like this and keep supporting with your likes and shares thank you very much and my name is Praveen Bhajanka signing off tata bye bye